What's up guys, Ghulam Ahmed, geneactivated.ca. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. Today I wanted to cover an exercise that I get a lot of questions about and it's actually an exercise that I see so many people doing wrong. There's so many different variations of this exercise that people try to do but they most of the time are not really hitting the muscle they want to do. Uh, they want to hit, they want to target and that is the dumbbell lateral raise. Okay, so that's supposed to target your the side of your deltoid, okay, so your um, medial deltoid. And this is an exercise that is crucial to grow. It's an isolation exercise to, that's crucial to grow the side of your shoulders. And for guys, it's really important because, you know, it first of all, uh, it helps you, make makes you look a little wider. Mine are a little bit short. I need to work on mine as well. So that's why I thought I'd do this video to help you guys and share with you my tips on how to grow these muscles faster. At the same time, it's also great for rotator cuffs, okay? So if you're an athlete and you want to have strong rotator cuffs and a strong shoulder, you got to be able to get the weight out here and have have it in a controlled balanced motion uh, and have that support for your shoulder and build that strength for the shoulder so it's great for overall bodybuilding as, uh, as well as for performance and athletics so great exercise I'm gonna take you through my tips on how to do it correctly the first thing that I like to talk about with this is that you're probably lifting too heavy, right? This is an exercise, you're not really gonna be hitting 30, 35 pounds, 40 pound dumbbells with it if you're doing it correctly. You're just gonna be using momentum. So what I like to do is I actually like to start off with only 10 pounds and you'll notice why I'm doing it with 10 pounds and if you follow it the way I'm doing it, you'll see that even 10 pounds is gonna be pretty heavy for you, right? The first thing that I like to cover is the grip, right? Um, I like to hold it right at the edge, at the top of the grip, right? So this again helps to target the angle better for my shoulders. So I'll hold it from the top, right? And now I'll first show you how people do it and how it's incorrect, and then I'll show you how to do it correctly, right? So there's different variations, right? People will do it like, like this, right? They'll go up this way, right? They'll keep their arms completely straight and do this, right, by their sides, okay? So they'll do it like this, or again, they'll do it like this, right? Or they'll do, this, right? You'll see a lot of different variations when people wanna try to do this correctly. But there's a proper and correct way to do it, which is what I'm gonna teach you. And this is why I created Pro Techniques to help you guys out with your form so you don't get injured. So we're gonna go with the first thing, the grip. I'm gonna hold it by the edge here, okay? The second thing that I do is I like to keep the dumbbells by my thighs, by the side of my thighs, okay? And I like to keep a slight bend in my elbow. So if you were just to stand normally, there's gonna be a slight bend in your normal, uh, in, your, in your arms if you naturally stand as well. That's how much bend I wanna keep in my elbows, right? Now, I don't wanna increase that bend as I go up. A lot of times people, they keep increasing the bend as they go up, right? You don't wanna do that. You wanna keep the bend the way it is and it's kinda of like it's locked. You also don't wanna have completely straight arms. If you have straight arms and you do this, you're putting a lot of tension on the elbow joint here. When it's five, 10 pounds, it's not a big deal, but once we get up to like 15, 20, 25 pounds, you're gonna strain your elbow and it's gonna start hurting. So I always like to keep a slight bend so that the pressure comes off the elbow and goes into the muscle here, right? Now, if you're not feeling it in this muscle the entire time and you're feeling it in your traps or you're feeling it somewhere else, you're not really doing it correctly, you're using momentum. Now, the reason I see people using the traps a lot is what they do is when they initiate the movement, they'll go like this, right? So they'll start like this and they'll lift here. They'll lift with this part. You see how I go up like that? So this is how they're doing the exercise. And you can do like 50, if you even want 50 pound dumbbells because you're really not lifting with the side of your shoulder, you're actually lifting with your trap muscle. And your trap muscle is much bigger and it can hold handle a lot more load. So you're probably just cheating yourself into thinking you're growing your deltoids, but you're not the side of your deltoids. So the first thing that I like to do is, I like to make sure that my shoulder blade is down and my shoulders are down and I keep them locked here. So I'm not trying to let my shoulders go up like that. So I keep my shoulder blades locked and then I come out, right? So you see what I did there? My shoulders are down here and I keep them locked. I'm not raising my shoulder, my, my traps as I go up. My look, my traps are not going up, right? Only my shoulders are going up, right? That's number one. You wanna make sure that the traps don't go up. Number two is the direction of where your dumbbells are going. So they're not gonna be directly beside you, right? You're not gonna go right beside each other. Like, you should not be right beside your body. You have to bring the dumbbells in what's called a scapular plane, okay? Which is the safest plane, which is the safer direction for your scapula, which is the back of your shoulder blade to be in, which is slightly outside. It's slightly at an angle here. 
Okay, it's not, it's about a 15 degree angle. My angles could be a little wrong, but that's pretty much what it is. So if you look at it here, look, I'm coming out slightly ahead. I'm not right here. I'm a little bit here, right? And it'll feel the most comfortable here. It's also the safest here and the most healthiest for your shoulder. So you want the dumbbells to come out on a scapular plane. You want the dumb your hand to be at the edge of the dumbbell. You don't want the shoulders to come up. Okay, next. You don't want to go up fast. A lot of people, they go up fast and that's using momentum. See the difference between this lift and watch this. You see how controlled that was? When I went up like this, I'm using only the side of my deltoids. I'm feeling it here, okay? So you wanna go in a controlled way. If you're having trouble doing that, what I recommend is you pause for the first like little bit. The first like four, three, four inches, you pause. So you start, pause. You start, pause, and then you wanna lift up. Now when you're lifting up, you wanna make sure you're lifting up with your elbows. So you're pausing, lift up with your elbows. Your elbows should come up first, not your hands. So you, it shouldn't go up like this, right? See, this is, this is my hands are going up first and my elbows are following my hands. In this position, my elbows are going up first and my hands are at the bottom behind my elbows. So again, control the way to go up, pause if you're having trouble stopping with the momentum, then go up. Now you wanna get up to here about parallel and then you wanna pause. You see I'm pausing here and then you wanna come back down nice and slow and controlled. The negative is what's gonna make the deltoids, okay? So you wanna make sure you're coming down nice and slow and controlled. People just let it go. They go up and then they'll come down. They'll go up and then they'll come down. So slowly go up, pause, nice and slow and controlled. Slowly go up, pause, nice and slow and controlled. Slowly go up, pause, nice and slow and controlled. Now the last trick is you wanna kinda empty the can. That's called kinda turn the dumbbell inside, get your pinky up at the top. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna go up, pause, I'm gonna empty the cans. Bring my pinky up and then come down nice and slow and controlled. Pause, go up. Empty the can, come down nice and slow and control. That's gonna give it a little bit more of that edge and a little bit more tweak, and it's gonna hit the muscle a little bit more at the top, and then you're gonna bring it back down. So that's it, guys. That's how I do the lateral raise exercise. That's almost everything. And even with a lightweight like that, even 10 pounds, try to do 15 controlled reps, and your deltoids are gonna be on fire, okay? So let me know how you guys figured and how much you dropped your weight. Let me know in the comment section below after you did this exercise. And if you guys like that exercise, let me know what you want me to cover in the future uh, in the comment section below. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and I'll see you guys next time on Pro Techniques. Take care guys.